I'm a Pachter Bet and the Rabbi Mitzvah. So I will show today a bit of parts of my game. So I like leg lock, especially straight foot lock and stima. So I use do a lot of gi, but no gi also. I had the pleasure to fight with one of my friends, I think. Yeah. So I'm not new. <laughs> so that's it. I will start. So from come. We'll first begin single X. So take single X. We will start uh, differently. So I want attack first. I will uh, try to defend first. So why? Because attack is a good part of the game. But most of the time, if the guy is good, you will have to defend. And you cannot defend and restart every time. Sometimes you can defend a bit and then we'll have to counter. Okay? So we begin first with the straight foot lock. So we take a straight foot lock. Everybody know a bit of foot lock? Is no. New? Yeah. 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 So straight foot lock is simple. If I can say it's like a lock on the foot. So why it's straight? Because it's like straight. Yeah. This is not straight because it's on the side. I call it two hold. You have the estima. Of the knee look so straight foot lock is everything on the line of the knee of the shin if I can say so it's simple the main position for the straight foot lock that almost people almost everybody knows is a straight foot lock in the single legs single legs because single leg is gap so we take one leg we focus and we isolate the last joint of the leg so the ankle good for everybody so we start there First, to have good defense, you have to choose. You can drop the angle. So in this case, we, we give the heel. In the gi, it's not a problem because there is no heel look in some position. So in this one, you can show the heel. So you cannot attack the straight foot lock because you, it's like you hide the angle, you turn it. So you cannot, if you pull straight, you know, it pulls on the side now. So it's not better, not, no, uh, not wrong, it's the defense, really depends. So on there, I will defend straight. I will keep attention on my hip and I will try to put my foot like this. So his goal is to put, is to extend my foot and my goal is to keep the foot tight. So I will be there. So I use my hip, it's not the strain of my, my foot, it's the strain of my hip. So if my hip is 90 degrees, I have more strain, you feel it, on my foot. Then if I'm like this, if he pulls, I will never be able to combat, but if I'm there, full, he can, but you will feel the pressure is different. So we'll, we'll first try with this. So we'll be by two. We just try this just first, just to feel a bit the pressure. I will extend and I will keep there. So this is the first reflex you can have, okay? Is to really extend the leg, put tension, and come close. This is the first. Second one, I can try to be close and try to put my heel on the ground. So I don't put the foot on the ground, I put the heel. It's important because if I put the foot, you can continue to pull. It's really difficult and the, the foot is still tight. But if I put my heel, you can pull. It's different, you feel? Just try this for 30 seconds. And after I will explain a bit more how to counter. Pretty easy. So let's start with the first counter. So he's there and he's attacking my foot. So what I, there is few options that I learned in the past and I like, but that's also giving other options for him. Like for example, this one, step over the foot. Problem is that after he can entry with this one, and if you like foot lock, you know that this position, it's easier for him to finish me. Because he can put foot and it's like you will feel it, that avoid also to extend my leg, this, this foot under, you feel, my, now my leg is, Really, and if you keep tight with the foot lock, it's really difficult now to defend. And now I cannot just push, I have to do this. But when I do this, it can still continue, it can change, and have other options. So I prefer to say that I accept the position and I try to work from this one. It's a bit strange because most of the time we want to push to sit because it's a good idea. But if the guy is good, it's like just pushing the hand a bit further. So it's not always the best option. So we will work from this position and see what we can do from there and not only to defend but also to counter attack, okay? So first, when I'm close like this, if you see I'm close and by putting my hip close and tight my leg, 
my knee is not there. My knee is coming a bit back. You see my knee is going back. Why I do this? Because I want to escape my knee in this side. It's a bit precise, but it's really there. If I'm there, I will never be able to escape my leg. So I really want to push. And more tight is with this leg, easier it will be. Because I can push my abs and be there. Now what I will do is I will try to make an angle. Because I, I want, if I stay in the straight line, I pop my, uh, my ankle. But if I can manage to, to move a bit my leg inside or outside, it will be for now, outside, I can disconnect this angle and I can try to, I can win a bit, I can save time to attack. Okay, so I will be there and I will just try to push. Okay, so if you pull, now it's a bit pain, but at the beginning you will feel it. It's a bit, you can be afraid at the beginning, but you will feel it's not so dangerous. It's a bit pain, but it's okay. So I will be there and I will push, okay? Now what I will do, I will try to bring my knee outside. So what I will do, I like to take the foot with me and I will try to open my knee, okay? Most of the time, especially in the nogi, what will happen is this. My, my, my heel, if you, if you keep the foot, my heel will go outside. In this case, maybe there is key, but from there I don't really know. Maybe you know, but I, it's not so dangerous to stay there. And especially because I have the foot, most of the time they will try to defend. Okay, if they don't react, we will see that it's easy after to go for the footlock. And now I'm in a good angle because in footlock, if you go belly down, you can have the power of the hip. And even, you just have a good pressure. Okay, so I'm there. I take the single legs first. I can stand up. You can even do it by standing up. Sometimes I do it like this. When the guy is really strong, I feel that I have to stand up because my, my uh, ankle is really tight. But in this case, we will say it's normal. So I come close. I put my hand there. You can directly go for the footlock or can go with the hand. If you, if you feel good, directly go with the hand, so I want to make space. Because if I'm there, I cannot turn, it's difficult. So I want really to make space. And if you see, I, I disconnect. So if you see there, I really disconnect foot and my leg. That allows me to go there and to open my knee. Now, first, the knee on the side. Okay, on the space. Now I can connect, now I can keep. And after I can walk from there. We will see the straight foot lock. And after the other option, if you go, he goes in ripping, okay? So last time, I'm there. I will do like with the standard so you can see it so in a different way. I'm pushing, I click like this. So it's connect, I escape my leg, I turn. So it's really this, okay? It's really important to do it because if I keep my leg inside and I don't move, I try to turn, it will pop my foot before I escape. So I'm there, you can even use the other hand, I like to do this, but if you feel you can do this, I lift and I, and I turn. I have the foot, I keep the connection, after I go up with the foot. And after we will see how to finish like the straight one, the other one like on the side, it's like this team up with the other side, or the belly down foot okay. Good for everybody? You want to see it or? Good? Yeah. Someone want to feel? Yes? Uh, let's go. I'll change. Come. So take the single legs. Foot lock. So I'm there. Foot like this. Like this, it depends. This one is good to go to the side. The other one is easier to stand up. So you have to feel. If you are flexible, you can switch when you want. And at the same time, put the pressure. On there, I go on my elbow, my hand goes inside. So it's not only on the space, it's I make space also with my hand. I fall down, I lift myself, and I escape my knee. Okay? So most of the time, the foot stay inside mm -hmm. because it's tight. But the heel, even you can like, have pain, you feel on the ribs with the heel. Okay? So that allows me to escape a bit. On there, I close. And after I go for the football. First escape and after we finish. Good? Question? Let's try. I think, I think too much, too much people, they pull 
the leg with the other leg. Me, I pull my leg and I pull my knee with my butt. If you don't pull with the hip, you cannot rotate. If I pull, I cannot rotate, okay? And it's even better for him because I put my, my foot in the last, last position before I tap. So I have to be tight and I have to pull with my hip, okay? So I don't pull, my, my, my leg is almost every time stretched. So I, it's almost stretched now, okay? So I don't do this because now it's space, but I make space under. May I don't want to make space under. I want to make space between my leg and his leg. So I want to have the foot like this. So I use the strength of my arm and I move myself. So if I move like this, he follow me. If I have my hands there, now there is space, you see? Now I can even try to you know, move a bit faster, use a bit more power, maybe use the, arm to, the other leg to kick and to entry more aggressively. But let's stay technique for the moment. I'm there, I cut. I try to create space and pull. You will continue to pull now most of the time. I'm there. If you feel, because my hip is tight, you can, can pull a bit more. It's a bit pressure. Most of the time, some people, they will tap at the beginning, but after you will understand a bit, I will say the concept of the footlock and you will feel when your, your ankle is in danger or it's only like a small pain, like we push on the, on the ner nerve, nerve in English? Yeah. yeah, sorry. Nerve in English and yeah. So it's this. So I will feel it. I'm tight. I feel that it cannot really pop my ankle. It's just like a bit stretched, like a, Yoga will say, so it's this. Breathe, appreciate the moment, and focus on what you're doing. In training, tap if you want, but try to feel, and of course, if you're a good partner, don't go straight, go step by step, and that's it. I'm there, I create the space, foot, you can even use the hand. If you, if you don't need the hands to stand up, some people they need, I can do it without. Of course, if you can do it without, you have hands more to, to work. If you need, just use it. And also, if you see, I use the, my elbow to stand up. So it's not like, like this. I use my, the, the deltoid to, to rise my, my butt. More, and even you can put the head from the ground. So it can be like this, and it's even easier. There, if you don't keep attention there, I will never be able to put my knee because it will keep there and I will impossible. So I keep the tension and I go there. Now, when the heel is outside, Nothing matters there. There is no danger. If you continue the key, you feel it's like maybe something, but maybe it will happen to say yes. So now I keep tight. After I can even stay there and finish it like this. Or if you want, and you are on the side, you can put the foot. Me, I like to put foot like this. Or if the leg is open, you can even go for the belly down like this. Okay? So. To focus on the main problem is to escape the, the leg and there I keep tight really important to keep tight every time never let one time do a leg like this because now if you go back now to keep it tight I now I have to stand up my only choice is to stand up and to put pressure on the foot okay I can still continue to go and after I start the entry but for the moment I keep tight leg is tight I make a space step by step so it's like the footlock I use this part of my arm. Not this one, not this one, not this one. Really this one. Why? Because it cuts and you can still step by step. Okay, go. Keep the, the two tools behind the armpit and you go. I lift myself and I pull my knee. I go, I use it and I escape. Now it's this. You feel, you can even, like I showed, you can even push a bit on the ribs. Ooh, that's not... Yeah, <laughs> sorry. You can push a bit on the ribs and move the foot like this. It's a tension. I don't know if he will let, but most of the time they react and they change the position that allows you to escape the knee. I'm there. I keep really tight. Every time you see, I don't do this. I keep tight every time. Not to finish, but to push him to control, to let the control of the foot and change the position. Now I go and I go for the foot and I just pull. I pull, I keep tight, the hand high, back, and after the arm, and the hip. Good. Try again for 
one or two times and when it's good let's start with the in the other side and it will escape by itself I will be there and I will try to escape my knee but it will not be possible for the moment it's really difficult and it's difficult to have a tight high grip there what I will do as I will try to pull the foot and then three under can keep it back strong I'm there I'll try to pull the foot and come under now I'm like in an estima position okay so there is like a pyramid and it's like higher you are in the pyramid with submission like he look to old footlock and under submission and most of the time if I choose a submission from the high from the top and you have a submission from the bottom let's say who will win first and probably if I take if it takes a e look and I have a straight footlock most of the time I will avoid I will give up my footlock to defend the e look because the chance to, to win it's like <coughs> one against ten you know so it's better to avoid it and to focus on the defense so he will be there and I will try to attack so if I take a footlock and he has a footlock <coughs> it will be like the ego who will tap first so I will try if I cannot escape I will try to make distance, take the foot, pull, and go down. When I'm doing this, if you see, my hand cannot go under. Now it's like a bit step. I put my set, if he's still pulling. So, but if you see, my knee is not inside. He's not outside, but if, let's say this is the middle. I'm under the middle, so I'm like almost safe. But now because I have this, it will probably pull a bit. And after he will give up because I will continue, I will start to attack and he will have to defend, tap or have a reaction. So I will show again the entry. It's maybe simpler to take this than escape the knee, but because we have to start in blue belt, purple and all, you cannot take an estimate I think, in blue belt. No, we, we only do no gi, so we don't care. We just take a <laughs> Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yes. Self defense only, let's go. So I'm there, so I will fall, try to, take, to escape it. I cannot, so I'm there, I cannot, difficult to take it, I go for the, so I, if you have, me I have a good belly, so I just put my belly inside, yeah, it's nice, it's, I like ice cream, so I use it, so I'm there, there's space, no, it's true, I take the foot, I push, and now I put, I breathe and I put my belly under, now I have the position, now I can take and I can squeeze. Most of the time, if I have this and he has a foot tuck, he will pull a bit, I will pull a bit, and I will react. If they feel nothing, just go. Probably they will react and you will escape your knee because they will. The moment they let the foot lock, my foot is there. Now, just keep and you go, okay? They will roll to this side and we will see what to do. But really try to attack. And even if you feel like you cannot escape the knee, just the ID of thinking and trying to escape the needs you know, most of the time. You don't need, if I'm there and I have the key and everything, I'm there, I don't need to have my, my knee perfectly outside, like if you let everything, I don't need to be there to have a tight, sorry, no, good, sorry. to have a tight ankle lock. So if you take it, if I just try to pull with my butt, so if you see, like it was a question from, from you it was, I don't go back with my body because if you see, he's following me and it's even more tight because he's tight, 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 tight on my ankle. I'm really doing this. You see, so now we are closer each other, but my hip is back. Okay, so now and I still have more space there. Can close and I really try. If you see, I don't escape my foot, but my knee is outside. And if you see, he's pointing. On the ground. This for me is exactly the same than the perfect one when I'm on my belly. Now I just go tight. For the estima, when people is the first time, just get this part of the arm, try to get it not under the Achille, Achille tendon, but more on the side. So it's like like this. Normally with one arm you can not finish it maybe, but you can put a lot of tension. Just blocking the thumb and I'm doing this, okay? After with both arms, like a uh, choke, material, material choke, you take it, take the leg, and I would just, it's like making an abs on the side and pulling 
with the elbow. So it's this, okay? Most of the time you will let the foot knock. Okay? I'll show again. Someone want to feel? Yes? It's good, feel it. Yeah, feel it's good. It's good to feel it. Come. So I'm there. I take the foot lock. I'm there. I try to go. I cannot escape my heel because it's difficult. I make space to take the thumb. I Why I say the thumb? Because I take the tooth, sorry. I don't take the foot. Yeah. I don't take the foot because it's it's too big and too difficult. I take the tooth, I pull, and I go inside again. Now I can even adjust step by step. When I have it, I put my forearm under, I close, and I'm there. I try it every time to, even if I do this, you feel small tension, and it's also good for my defense. I'm there, I take the shield, and now I put tension, okay? I go, tension, tension, tension. Now I can continue, or let's see the reaction, okay? Question? No? Let's try, go. Let's do it before the next time. So I'm there first, focus on keeping the leg stretch. And if you feel that it's too difficult or too late, because most of the time if the guy is good, you have to keep realist. It's good. <laughs> that was in attention, it's perfect. <laughs> the adrenaline of the competition, that was good. I'm there, if it's too late, I mean, I really like to push my foot, but especially my heel, to the ground and wait a bit. Okay? Let's say a scenario. If he's going for the ripping, I go back directly like this. It's exactly the same. If I'm there, people ask me every time if I push, I give the heel, of course. But if they go for the ripping, I go back with my knee, and that's the moment I escape my knee. Now, there is nothing. Most of the time they will, and it happens, they take my foot with their hands, and they somehow I'm like this. And now they allow me to work also on foot lock attack. Okay? If he keeps the foot there, and there I push, he try to go, do one movement. I try, every time it's like, I escape, you see, escape my butt, boom, and I'm there. I can directly go for the attack and try to attack, or just wait a bit that I have a good one, or if I can escape. Most of the time it's difficult to escape, and if you try to escape too fast, like it, it happens when we are fighting, that my knee is in a good pressure, so I have to be careful. So escaping fast is good, but speci me especially I don't like. It's like sometimes I do it, but I'm afraid of going to the wrong side and it works. And if you have to do it, do it. But if you can feel a bit with the hip, I think it's the best option you can do. From there, you go to the side. I really try to step by step. You don't have to be afraid. Don't try to fall without tension because now I'm moving the heel. Now it's finished. It's not finished, but he, he will have he will, cushion. Do you always say keep tension, or do you always like boot? Like I close, try, close up, but when he has good tension, if he has good tension now, even if my hip is like this, I will have to stand up, because now he's pushing down. So now I don't have the strength to stand up, to, uh, to stretch my leg. But if I put my weight higher, now I can use my level to stretch again, and if I fall, I can keep it a bit. But if you see my foot from there, even with a good structure, I cannot lift my foot. But it's strange, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel less pain when I'm like this than when I'm like this. Yeah. Now if you pull, you pull, you pull, you pull, I will probably I tap. But if I'm there, you can pull, you can go. I will probably tap now, but I don't know why I have a few seconds more to... My, my, my brain doesn't panic now. Say, oh, be careful, be careful, okay? If someone have an answer or is you already know, mm -hmm. it's this. Mm -hmm. There, the foot. Okay. There, so every time pushing. If you want to feel to uh, to play more sec the security, stand up directly and push the heel. Don't stay there too much. Yeah, play like this because you can every time escape thing like this as the as the knee directly outside without taking too much risk. If you are confident or in training, I, mean, I, I, I like to stay like this even. Put both hands like this, both foot like this, sorry, and try to play a bit 
and feel a bit what can happen if I do like this, you can take clipping, so I feel I can go back every time I go back. Okay, and I try to every time I skip the knee and turning outside. Every time this. Looking for foot. Even like this, you don't need to go up on the bottom to take the estima. I use it even like there. I push and I'm there. Most of the time I do this, they will let the things to defend this. So I don't say I will tap now, but that will allow me, for example, to change the position. And now we are in a neutral position. I don't know if it's better to restart, but if you are in danger, it's better to take a bit distance. If you cannot counter attack like we did today and restart the fight. I hope you learned something. And if you have questions, let me know. Thank you. Thank you.